Patrol was released for the arcade in 1982 and ported to the Atari 2600 one year later. It's a side-scrolling driving game slash shooter where you drive a moon buggy through a course, avoiding road hazards while fighting off UFO attacks from above. There are three different kinds of UFOs, the orange spaceships, the purple claw-like things, and these three dice that swirl around. Whatever, there's really not much of a difference between them, just that the bullets from the dice will form a crater in the ground, so make them your top priority to kill off, and be ready to jump when you see them fire down. Moving the joystick left or right will cause you to speed up or slow down, moving it up will cause you to jump, and pressing the fire button will shoot out in front of you as well as straight up into the air to take out the UFOs. The road hazards include craters, rocks, landmines, tanks, and a rocket. The craters and landmines you have to jump over, the rocks and tanks you can shoot out of the way or jump over, and the rocket you'll have to jump over as it sneaks up on you from behind, and then you can shoot it afterwards if you're quick enough for a sweet point bonus. You collect points for jumping over and shooting hazards, but you also get bonus points based on how fast you finish the course. There are two courses divided into five segments. You'll get bonus points after each segment if you finish the segment quick enough. Each one has a different time to beat. You'll also get bonus points for completing each course in its entirety. You'll start out with four lives, and you'll die from making contact with any of the hazards or their attacks. There's no life meter here. There are three difficulty settings with an alternating two-player option. Holding left and right not only controls your speed, but it also controls the height of your jump. The problem is, making a short jump means you have to do it while moving slow, so make sure you're really close to the craters when making the slow jumps, and vice versa with the long jumps. It's a pretty challenging game, especially on the second course. Holy shit. There are so many spots where you have to precisely time your next move or multiple moves, like jumping so you can land just in the right spot to give yourself enough time to take out the tank. Yeah, I forgot to mention that these tanks fire at you, and you have to neutralize a couple of their shots before you can take them down, so you can't land too close to them. The graphics and animation are decent. There's not a lot to speak of, but it takes place on the moon, so getting colorful wouldn't have been a good fit. And I'm glad they put the stars in the sky to give the background some detail. Moon Patrol is so addicting, not because it's a fast-paced shooter, because the speed is actually pretty moderate, but because you have to constantly keep your head on a swivel. You got shit on the ground to worry about, and shit in the air to worry about, sometimes both at the same time. It's definitely unique. Another aspect that makes Moon Patrol so memorable is the soundtrack. Okay, so it's just one song. There's no CD available. Although back in 83, it would have been on vinyl. But this is Atari, and music on this console was usually limited to short 5 to 10 second loops. And the songs that did play consistently were usually nothing special. But the song that plays on this game is pretty damn awesome, all things considered. And if you get tired of it, flip the difficulty switch to A. It'll turn off. Moon Patrol is definitely one of Atari 2600's better arcade ports. I recommend it. I'm just about 